Hi, I'm Randy Fay. I'm the co-maintainer of uh, Amazon module and maintainer of Amazon store module. And I want to give you a quick tour of how to use content types and an Amazon, uh, the Amazon field and views with the Amazon module. It's not very hard, but the first time you come to it, it can cause some head scratching. So let's take a look and give that a shot. First of all, let's make sure that we have the right modules turned on. Here we are in the modules page and we need the Amazon API turned on and we need the Amazon field turned on. And to do our views, we'll need views and views UI turned on. So let's go to the content types page and let's add a content type. And let's just call it uh, Amazon node. Amazon node, Amazon node, and we'll just change the form here so we don't have to see that body because we only care about the one field we're going to be working with. There we go. And now we're going to add a field to that. And let's just call it uh, Amazon item. And the field type is going to be Amazon item, amazingly. And now we have, we're going to say it's required because it's all that we're putting in this node. And now we're going to create a couple of these because we need some examples to work with. So let's go to content, let's create content, an Amazon node. And let's make one for the using Drupal book. And the Amazon item for that, we can go over to Amazon.com and get it. Here's the using Drupal page on Amazon.com. And you can actually roll down and get this out of the out of the product details. It's the ISBN 10, or usually it's mentioned as the ASIN. In this case, they have it as the ISBN 10. But it's easier to just grab it here out of the URL of the Amazon page. So we're going to do that. Come back, put the Amazon item here. And voila, the Amazon module is going out to Amazon, grabbing the information and presenting it to us here. That's good, but we want to see more than just a thumbnail and a title that links to Amazon. We need to do more than that. So let's create one more and then we'll work with it with views. So we're going to create uh, Pro Drupal development. Okay, and here's Pro Drupal development uh, book, and once again the ASIN is easy to find up here in the nav bar. Okay, now we have two nodes. We can build a view that will let us work with them. So let's go to views and we're going to add a view and uh, we'll just be really original and call it Amazon stuff Amazon stuff test and this is going to be a node type view um, there are other ways to do it but nodes are usually what we want to be looking at especially in this particular case I made a mistake. That's better. Okay, now we need to go here into the filters and we're going to say that we only want nodes of the type that we're working on. So we're going to go into node type. and add that as a filter. We went on and lay Amazon node in there. Okay. Now, this is the key moment. Uh, we need to add a relationship through the field that we just created. So I'm going to click on the plus here beside relationships. And here is the field 
we're only offered a few, since I don't have very much set up in my system, we're only offered a few things here, but it's this content Amazon item, field Amazon item, which appears in Amazon Node that is going to be the way that we get at all of that data that's stored with that item. So I'm going to say to add that relationship, and I'm going to say to require the relationship because anything we're going to do is useless without it. Okay, so now we have, we're filtering by the node type. We have a relationship on here, and now let's add some fields. Now we're going to add fields. Now you see we have all kinds of fields to work with. Let's add the uh, node NID first uh, before we get going so we don't have to go looking for it somewhere. We'll link it to its node. And now let's add the Amazon ASIN. And now let's add, you see we have many fields here that we can add. Um, I'm going to add the Amazon title. And we can ha make it either have no link or a link to the product's Amazon page. We'll let it have a title. And let's add one more one more item here. Let's add the publisher, for example, and the publication date. Publisher publication date isn't there. And add the release date and see if that works. Update that one. Looks like we don't have release date on books. But now I'm going to change the style of this to table. Now we have a table with the various Amazon information that we have available to us. We can configure it how we want to. We could add to this, uh, for example, a product image. So let's add the product image. And we'll use the small size image. Uh, we won't link it. And we have a choice here of either getting the plain URL or the actual image markup. We'll take the image markup with no link. And now we have the product image. And we have all three sizes available to us on that. As you can see, you can do an awful lot with views uh, with an Amazon item. It's my favorite way to work with Amazon information. And I uh, hope this helps. Don't forget the critical element is having this relationship here so that you can get at the information you need. Having the, having the content type relationship and it's a relationship to the field that we have in our Amazon item. Hope that helps and have a great evening.